Okay, okay, man. We back at the spot, season two, dog. I got my guy with me, man. Two six Duda. Uh, I'm about to follow me at O two six O Duda. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? So how you how you get that name? We just gonna get like down the business. Like, what made you choose Duda? That sound like that's like a like a it was like a nickname, like from coming up type shit. Yeah, so like from my brothers and like two six like shout out my brothers too, Tank Joe, Feel Me Fred. So I was with my brothers and shit. Like me and my brothers, we used to all go skating and shit. Mm -hmm. Chilling. Just be out there and just turn. Like, good. So I wind up flicking with them niggas. Hard. Like, don't look my feet. I'm locked in with them niggas. So one day, we all just clicked up. Clicked up. And then, yeah, that shit. So they so got then the I story. Talk about Two six and be like be your brothers only and shit like mm -hmm. so I'm like alright bet two six now we so we all fifty two six now two six brothers only so when I had uh, when I had changed my name on Instagram I just put it as like two six dude because before this shit I start I was already rapping mm -hmm. like rapping with my brothers and them so they like. Yeah. I mean, so do that like is that a short name or your or your real name? Like you know? I, yeah. Okay. Well, Alright, so, look, my sister, my sister, she really gave me that name for real. Yeah. Yeah. She really gave me that name. So I mean, ours. Right, and then I just took the two six and put it in there. All right. So I see, like you said, you was rapping already before, and so what was like walking through like them like them first like inspirations to, you know what I'm saying? Like, was you like going to the bull for? You know what I'm saying? How was you? What was your process for real? Mm -hmm. So, I used to, we used to, we was on seven miles of my auntie shit. I used to go to school and shit from over there. We, I used to always like shut the door. She used to, cause she had gave me one of the rooms that was in the crib and shit. So I used to always shut the door, you feel me? And be in there, like, just turn around, put, grab the headphones, you feel me? You get the rapping, get the rapping. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get the rep. What was like? Pro what was the program you was using? The program? Yeah, like how? Like how was you recording it for? Real? Um, band lab. Yeah, yeah. You said a lot of niggas started off the band lab. Band I think lab. uh, Lil Tyler. It's a couple niggas that think you know what I'm saying. Shout out band lab, nigga. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying. I feel like you got to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying. This is the part of the game niggas don't know about. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah so like, where are you from? West side, east side. I'm from the west. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Easter though. Yeah, said you grew up in Easter, town. Yeah. Yeah, but you fuck with out there. You shout out, shout out anybody that. Shit. Shout out my nigga. I don't really know too many niggas out there, but I grew up out there. Like, mm -hmm. That's where it started from. I yeah. spoke with my baby Cole, Ken. It was a lot of niggas I fucked with out there. Yeah. But then shit got to getting crazy. So wow. it's too wild. Yeah, Inkster got its own little pocket. It's a whole little pocket out there. Yeah, it's own little time. Hot. Yeah, hell yeah. We got the scrapping every day. And then shit just got turned into what it was. Mm -hmm. That shit was done to sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? I always ask this for AAR, especially with that intro interview and shit. Um, like, who your top five? Like, you know, that, that, that kind of inspired you type of shit. What really made me go hard, my baby, 1229 Man Man, mm -hmm. Rose Go G. Uh, I used to always listen to uh, Fo2 Doug. Fo2, yeah. yeah. He yeah. heard, you feel me? Shout out Fo2. Shout out Fo2, shout out Viz. Yeah. Shout out, uh, um, man, this, shout out, uh, this another one, too, I feel good. Shout out Lil Baby, too, I feel good, man. Yeah, Lil Baby, Lil Baby, you said that's like your definitive flow. Like, how you feel about the Detroit wave right now, as far as like where we at right now? And like, like, do you think it's being noticed by the world right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, tell me like, like who you think really on the scene. Now, I know that was just your top five, but give me like, who you say is like the top five, top three, buzzing in the city. Buzzing in the city? Uh, 1229, man, man. Mm-hmm. Out for real. Uh, that's hard. These are all new and names tank. too. And tank. Tank. 
Yeah. So you do you listen to a lot of like underground rap, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or? Not for real. Uh-huh. Nah, not for real. So you basically listen to like mainstream rap basically is what you're saying? Rappers that I know, like, personally. Yeah, like, how you get to them, like, like, you, like these niggas that you know, like, just in the streets in general, or just, like, you know. No, I know, I know Min Min, he fucked my sister, shout out Ramo Train. That's what's up. Shout out her brother, baby, uh, Eli. Yeah. No, that's so all right. Yeah, I got the fuck with him, bro, and I got the cool, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so, like, what you working on right now type shit? I'm really trying to get my viewers and stuff up. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be posting on damn love. I just got a little sign. So I can get about a, a monthly, you know, a, a yearly pass on it. Yeah, so what you got, like, an album right now you working on? Is it just singles? Like, what's your game plan? An uh, album. Yeah. It's what's called it? Believe In. Yeah. Is this the first album? Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. That's the word. That's the word. <laughs> yeah, you know, got a press on that shit for real, for real. You know, any visuals, you know what I'm saying? Like, any, anybody like a, like a producer in or videographer game you would want to work with? I don't know, for real. Mm-hmm. Something that you ain't really studying into yet, whatever. Uh, no, I can dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. So, like, you know, what's your, you know what I'm saying, goals out of rapping? What you... What you want out of rap, basically, like, if you could see yourself five years, ten years from now, you know what I'm saying, like, what show, you know, calling for this? I want to, you feel me, I want to, I want to at least, like, I feel like, I feel like I'll be, you feel me, I'm hard, like, people tell me I'm hard for, like, shit, the hoes be fucking on my music, I performed that's hard. that, I performed that for one time, everybody was lit to my shit, was oh, that's lit, that's lit. Yeah. That's what, especially, you know, you got the high school way. Because you in high school, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, this this right now where you're supposed to be killing the game right now. What school you at? Henry Ford. Oh yeah, well, bro, you in the spot too, bro. You dead ass in the spot. Y'all be having like little uh, Grammys type shit like that in there or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how they be having a little class um, elections and shit like that. Yeah, you yeah, you need to be performing that shit, all this little shits right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hell yeah. So, um, tell me like a wild time that you done had in life. Like, what was a wild moment for you? Like a crazy moment, bro. Right. Out of that shit for real. Uh -uh. Damn, they caught up with Brody. Yeah, but uh, after that shit happened, I mean, it's so crazy to so happen. I ain't really say too much, but. Mm -hmm. yeah. They end up catching up with his they ass. That shit, they caught that shit for real. God damn, dog. That shit was crazy. That's a crazy story. That's a crazy story. So, like, what is uh what is life to you right now? Like at the age you at, you know. I feel like I feel like life life important to me right now as I'm doing this rap shit too. That's important. It's a lot of shit important. My people, you feel my little ones, my brothers, you feel me? 
Mm-hmm. Like if you could say some motivational shit right now, this is the part where you're supposed to say some like, you know, what's some uplifting shit for you, to you, you know what I'm saying, to like get a nigga through his day or, you know. Like get me through my day type shit. Yeah, hell yeah, to get you going type shit. Uh, like to give me more. A nigga got, a nigga got to start rapping around me. Uh huh. That that's what that's yeah, what motivates that's what you. Me, that's what gives me. It's be that energy. Cause I'd be like, oh, yeah, I'm about to go fuck around, and go to the store. Yeah, yeah. I'm Who you be around that rap though? I'd be around. I'd be around them, man. Mhm. Like I'd be around them, man. Like I'd be around them, man. You gotta get man, man in here for real, for real. You brought him up a couple times now. Yeah, that's how. That's how. That's that's what made me start rapping real hard, real hard. So you would say he was the like the the like. The anchor that that kind of got you like, all right, no, nah, if he doing this shit, let me do this shit. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was for real, basically. Like, yeah, everybody always got an anchor, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like I had one, it was my brother too, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got the same kind of goals, you know what I'm saying? Then you know it just, you know, it brings you to it, you know what I'm saying? And it seemed like you got it, you know, in the early stages of it type shit too, you know what I'm saying? So how how long have you been rapping? Studio sessions do be fire, bro. It's just about you know who you with. I yeah. think it's like you said. Mm-hmm. After I got in that studio, it just went from there. Yeah. So like, you said you don't mess with the industry rappers like that, or you said you don't mess with underground like that. Like yeah. So I mean, like, how you feel about that? Always has like a, a kind of just a, this. Just you just ask him a question. Like, how you feel about the Drake Kendrick love situation and shit like that? Do you think Drake? It's finished. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. We was listening to Kendrick at the barber shop, bro. My barber, he had played there after he got done cutting my hair. And he, Kendrick, I feel like he on top. Oh, you feel like Kendrick the dethroned Drake? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Sure. That's crazy. Yeah, I guess you can't stay on top forever type shit. Like right now, I feel. Like, I don't know. I just feel like we in a weird time right now. I feel like I said everything fucked up. The shit's so different right now today. Like I feel like right now what's hot is the streamers. Like the Casanets, you know, uh, I Show Speed, or either the bitches. Like the Sexy Reds, Loud Dogs of the World. The, the girls, that's what's hot right now. Like it ain't too, I don't know. I just feel like right now the niggas been, been laxed right now. I feel like niggas, they playing with this shit for real. And bitches is getting off. But in the same time as bitches getting off, People ain't really, it's like club music. It ain't like, it's alkaline music. You know what I'm saying? If you know what the alkaline is, basically like shit that's, people put it in a high regard. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit that niggas say, oh yeah, this was a classic. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas just say that Carter Three Wayne was a classic. You know what I'm saying? Gucci State versus Roger Davis was a classic. You know what I'm saying? What's a what's a classic to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, that you would say. Like, some industry shit. Uh, like, classic. Yeah, but what Drake though? You know? Yeah. Drake what? I mean, for real. Or you ain't really like an album listener like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna lie to I'm gonna be a buck. It ain't no more albums neither though. I don't feel like people like it's playlists now. People just it's like if you got a hot song, you got a hot song. That's what I feel like is hot right now. You know, people don't consume music the same way no more. It's not how it was. Like all that freshman shit don't matter no more. All that album shit right now. I feel like you got you a hot single, you kinda just gotta get in the mix. Cause music is such a it's a it's a niche topic. And when I mean niche it's just, it's on the timeline. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could just scroll past it. You know, it may be there, you might see it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. That's how it is, dog. It's crazy how 
shit is today, bro. You gotta, I always feel like you either gonna adapt or you gonna die with this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be on that next little wave for real, for real. You feel me? Yep, so what, what's, uh, I know you said you got the, basically like an album of CD on the way though, but like what else uh, you got, you know, planned in stores for niggas? I got a couple songs for the hoes today, this time. Mm-hmm. Like, I sent it to my sisters. They liked it. Mm. What's your process? Like, how do you how do you make the songs that you be coming up with? I make them. I sit alone. Mm-hmm. I just think. I let the family put my hair on, turn the light off, and just get back. Oh, so you just be like, lights oh, off? Yeah. And then I what you would just be sitting there, just be pondering? Like, just trying to pull it out. <laughs> See, niggas don't know that part of the game, bro. Niggas be wanting to know, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you, how you make this shit? Just rest that shit. Uh -huh. Take this shit as slow as I can. Take this shit as slow as I can to get there. No, you dead ass got to. You dead ass got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Like, I mean, you know, like, is there any shout outs you want to throw out right now type shit or? Who you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you done got your shout out saying? Shout out. Shout out Tank. Shout out my nigga Baby Foz. Shout out Three. Shout out Joe. Shout out Heen. Shout out Eli. Shout out my baby Trin. Shout out Man Man. Shout out Fred. Yeah. Yeah, so look, we got this part to the interview, bro. I know you got a little verse for me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no freestyle or no rap for me. You can rap for the, you know what I'm saying, for the pop one time, man. All right, shit, let me get this. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a little freestyle. Yeah, for you. go ahead and kick that shit, bro. A little freestyle. All right. I'm I'm rap, I'm rap some of my ideas, though. Yeah, you're okay, man. I don't got no that. She know she bad, so I'm gonna be a little mama right. She ain't just cute, she got her own shit. I'ma take her on the flight. She my type, my mom play where her pussy before her life. She likes she nails, so I'ma put it on. Cause that's what she likes. She like my tan, I'ma be put. Cause they shout it out to like bugging her deal, spamming her hearts, cause she say bugging yeah, in her type. Some little shit. Yeah. I can dig it, I can dig it, I can dig it. That's why nigga do the raw in this bitch, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's another hey, episode. Fun, yeah, come tap in with Brody. He got a Too new sick, city on the bro. way, man. We gonna have the um, we got the info on the side of the corner so y'all can follow Brody and shit like that, man. And just stay posted, man. Y'all know what it is. It's the spot. Blech.